Brucefolvin works by inhibiting the mitosis of the fungal cells. So it basically inhibits the microtubules that the fungal cells use to divide and have more cells. So Brucefolvin inhibits the mitosis of fungal cells. Now they can be used for mainly two infections, and these are ringworm infections, the worm infections, and the tinea infections, which are skin fungal infections. Grisofalvin deposits in keratin-rich tissues. This includes the skin and the fingernails. So this is potentially cancerous. It can cause cancer, which, we all, which is why we refrain from using them too much. They also inhibit cytochrome P450, like many other fungal medications, and they cause headaches, and they're highly teratogenic. So we have depositing in keratin tissues, which is cancerous. We have cytochrome P450 inhibition, and we have headaches with teratogenicity.